morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Moritz and today I get to walk you in and around a 2021 Newmar Supreme Air 4051. Uh, so obviously a Super C, one really cool thing about this is it's a high horsepower Super C, 41 feet 9 inches overall length tip to tip. While we're kind of panned out there, take a good look at this exterior paint job. That is the Blanco exterior by Newmar. So just a full white, kind of gives you a blank canvas to do what you want with it. Um, and then obviously we can see we have one Gerard Nova awning. Now these, this awning package does come standard. I put one out and now we got the second one coming out just so that you can see that you can control them individually with the remote. So, and both those awnings are matching, you know, the color match to the paint job and then the same size awnings. So also both of those awnings do have wind sensors in them with auto retract. So if they start bouncing up, up and down too much, they will just go ahead and retract themselves to avoid damage. Now, in conjunction with that, the Gerard Nova awning package does come with the window awnings. So those are built so that you can keep the sun from beating down into this motorhome, uh, keep you a little bit cooler in the summer. And last but not least, along with that, you've got dual pane tinted windows all the way around this motorhome. So the dual pane one helps with heat and uh, cold. So it keeps the warmth in and the cold out or the cold in and the heat out. And second, it helps with the uh, it helps with noise, just to keep the noise out. So, while you're sitting in your campground. Up in this first compartment here, we've got just a little bit of storage. And then right behind that, we've got our HWH hydraulic pump. So that pump is going to be used to control two slide outs, your steps, as well as your jacks. But they did put on a tray, so if a technician needs to work on it, it's very easy to get to. Right behind that, we've got our Oasis Chinook hydronic heating system. Now that's going to provide us uh, heat as well as hot water on this motorhome. It's going to use diesel fuel or electricity just depending on what you have available. Right behind that, another really big storage compartment here. Newmar does an awesome job making sure that all of the storage compartments are carpet lined. So keeps things from sliding around and rattling while you're driving down the road. Behind that one, we've got the Samsung 43 inch HD smart TV and a Bose soundbar. So this is your exterior entertainment system. Down here, we've also got our fresh tank drain. So that's gonna be for your fresh water. You have 150 gallons of fresh water on this motorhome. In the very back here, a couple things going on. One, we've got about a three quarter pass through storage on the bottom as well as up top couple extra tiles just in case one breaks on the inside the tool for your toolkit for your central vacuum system so that's going to be a hose a couple different attachments to the vacuum hitch with a 2 and 5 16 ball get a good view of that thing it is massive and I'll show you why in a minute controllers for your awnings two 110 volt outlets and then over here we've got our actual central vacuum system so that's where you're going to uh, change your bag if you want to hook it up out here vacuum your car vacuum your bay doors you can absolutely do that one more small storage compartment here. So again, about a halfway through there. Coming around the back, we've got a full fiberglass rear cap. So a couple things to notice. One backup camera up there, we can change the view of it to be looking at different angles. If you want to look at the hitch to hook up a trailer, you can set it to that view, or you can push it out if you're backing into a space. LED marker lights, LED tail lights, all very nice integrated into this cap. And then down below, that's another hitch attachment that comes with this motorhome. That's a two inch receiver. Now this motorhome does have a 30,000 pound towing capacity. 30,000 pound towing, 3,000 pound vertical weight. So the tongue weight of your trailer can be 3,000 pounds. And then Newmar being a great RV manufacturer, throws in some additional hidden storage. So some shelves back here, a couple extra quarts of oil, a couple extra cases of beer, whatever you need. And then down below, a nice long, deep storage there, fishing poles or a ladder, you know, whatever you need, you have some extra long storage there. Now this is a gas prop assisted hatch, so there's really not a lot of force that needs to open it or close it, very easy to do. And over on the passenger side, very back compartment, just another nice little storage here. At only 41 feet long, 
you don't get a ton of storage. Newmar packed it in anywhere they could, and I think they did a great job with it on the 2021s. In the back here, owning 12,500 watt quiet diesel generator that will pull directly off of your diesel fuel tank. Just a little bit of hose storage here. Um, not that you need it on this motorhome, and I'll tell you why in a second. And then while we're kind of back here, let's just talk about this. We do have a true twin screw here. So both of these axles are drive axles. So just a little bit better stability driving down the road, also more traction on the road in case you're ever in, you know, that slippery situation. Forward to that, this is gonna be your water bay. So a couple things in here. One, we've got a water inlet hose on a reel. So you can just pull this out, hook it to the spigot when you're done with it, push the button and it retracts itself. No need to carry an additional hose. It's already set there for you. Hot and cold exterior shower, full or whole house water, fil water filter, uh, water supply valve. So this is gonna change it from city supply to tank fill, just depending on what you're doing. Now these are your switches to open your black and gray tank valves. So instead of having the old school pull valves, you just push a button and it opens for them. Black tank rinse, so this is just a sanitation valve inside of your black tank. We've got our tank levels here, so fresh is at 0%, gray is at 34%, black is at zero. And then your water, or remote water pump switch so you can turn it on out here and use this exterior shower. And then last but not least, we have a macerator on this motorhome. So there's a switch right here to turn it on. Now this is actually gonna be a pump that pumps out your gray and black tanks. Uh, a couple things that does for you. One, if the dump station is not on a level surface, it's not really that big of a deal because the pump can pump it up a hill. Two, it means you don't have to carry that external hose and worry about it breaking and cracking, being gross. In this compartment, we've got our 50 amp power cord on a reel. So I tucked it underneath the motorhome and plugged it in. But when you're done with it, there's a button right here. Push the button, it'll suck that power cord back in. Now this does come standard with a 50 foot cord. So 50 amp power cord, 50 amp, or 50, 50 foot cord. And then in front of that, we've got our Magnum 3000 watt inverter. That's gonna be used to convert DC power to AC power if you're out boondocking. It takes the battery power from the batteries and makes it usable in outlets. And then right here, we've got our eight six volt AGM house batteries on a tray. So if you're the kind of person that does your own maintenance, you can actually pull these batteries out to you at about 60 pounds a piece. It's easier to swap them out here than way back in there. And then push them in. There's two mechanical pins here because this tray is a little bit heavy. So you just slide these pins in just to make sure you don't have any problems while you're driving down the road. And then these next two compartments are gonna be some of your chassis stuff. So right here, we've got a 50 gallon diesel fuel tank. All right, so there is a fuel fill there. Right here, we've got our two just standard chassis batteries just for starting the engine. And then over on the left side, this is our glycol for our hydronic heating system. Which is gonna bring us kind of to the cab area. So this motorhome is powered by a DD13. That's gonna be a 12.8 liter turbo diesel. It produces 1,850 foot-pounds of torque and 505 horsepower. So if you're pulling that 30,000 pounds, you want all the torque you can get, 1,850 about caps you off. Um, there's very few engines that go over that that are in a motorhome. And then back here, I did miss this, we've got another fuel fill. So I said earlier, it's got 100 gallons of diesel fuel. One fill is right behind the cab. The other one is right ben below the cab here, as well as our diesel exhaust fluid fill. Just kind of while we're standing here, we'll talk about some of the stuff you can't see once we're actually in the cab. So this is our driver's seat. Now this is an air ride seat. So right here, we've got adjustments. We can move the seat up and down as needed. And then we can also do our lumbar supports and that's all air as well. This is a switch for a shock absorber. That will help if you're on a really bumpy road to make sure that seat doesn't bottom out for some reason. And then last but not least, it does, this new Mars Supreme Air does come standard with heated seats. Just a push button on and off. Very simple system. So I want to point out right here, there is a separation here on this cab. 
So from the motorhome body to the cab, there is a nice separation. And the reason they did that is Newmar actually left the air ride cab of this M2112 intact. So they're the only manufacturer doing it right now. Uh, I'll show you kind of what it looks like on the inside as well. But essentially, there's a nice big rubber seal in here that can move up and down to keep that air ride cab intact. Makes the ride of this motorhome just a ton better. On the side, we do have boat, or, uh, blinker cameras. So that's just a side bullet camera. So when you turn on your left blinker, that camera will come on, help eliminate blind spots, and keep you safe while you're driving down the road. Now this coach also does have a 360 camera system, and that is new for the Supreme Air in 2021. They've been doing it on mountain airs and they're higher and stuff forever. But what that gives you is one camera in the front, two on either side, and then the camera in the back. So we can actually look at pretty much any angle of this motorhome from inside the cab. So, and I wanted to point out how easy it was to open and close this hood. I mean, I'm not fighting it. It is a gas prop assisted hood. And then when it's time to close it, you actually have to give it a little pressure. It'll stop right there and very slowly close. If you give it just a little pressure, it'll close faster. Uh, for you smaller people, you don't want to get pulled up over the top of that hood. It's really embarrassing. Oh. That pretty much wraps up the outside of this 2021 Newmar Supreme Air. Uh, we'll head inside. One thing I like to point out is we've got the HWH hydraulic step. I'm just gonna show you this really quick. So I just stopped that step. Um, so as a hydraulic step, that thing has a lot of force. So we have a curb sensor right here. So I just stopped that step. Now to reset it, all I have to do, close the door and then reopen it and it'll come all the way out. But uh, if you were ever too close to a curb or something and it sensed that, it hit it, it would stop. That way you're not pushing your step and twisting up the frame of this step. So as we come inside this 2021 Newmar Supreme Air, I do wanna point out that all of the slides are closed right now. So just so you can get a good idea of what it looks like closed up, um, I'm in the bedroom right now but I can get to my refrigerator. Newmar does a great job by making your bathroom door a center pivot door. This is your half bathroom. We'll get to that. Just so you can get in here, no problem. And then the tightest spot is going to be between the couch and the table. But at six, foot, six feet tall, 250 pounds, I can slide through this motorhome no problem at all. We'll get these slides opened up. Actually, Jody, if you wanna come over here, We'll talk about this stuff first. So directly above the entry door here, this is gonna be our control cabinet. So first thing that I wanna do is go ahead and put this step cover out. So down below on the floor here, Newmar does a great job by making this hole fill in. So if it's ever late at night, you don't turn the lights on, you just you know walk around in here. You don't have to worry about falling in this hole. Now this thing does have the capacity to hold me up just fine. Um, so it is nice and sturdy and it is rated to be walked on. So we're gonna go ahead and get these slides out. So we'll do the passenger side first. Now your front two slides are hydraulic slides. So benefit to you is it creates a flush floor. There's no steps anywhere in this motorhome. So it goes all the way out and then it drops down. And then same thing on the driver's side. Slowly but surely. So this Super or Supreme Air 4051, this is a triple slide model. Um, just while I'm doing slide outs, we'll talk about some of the other stuff. You've got 150 gallons of fresh water. You have 60 gallons of gray water and 40 gallons of black water. Now this back slide here is not a hydraulic slide. This is just a standard electric. Um, on the roof, we do have two 15,000 BTU uh, air conditionings and those do have heat pumps built into them as well so you do have a little additional heat off of the roof yeah. 
All right, so now our slides are all the way out. So nice big open floor plan. We're going to talk about all this stuff. I got a little sidetracked there, but so up on the top left of this panel, you have the controls for your Gerard Nova awnings. So we can change it. So channel one is going to be the front awning. Channel two is going to be the back awning. If you want to run them both together, you put it to zero and it'll run both awnings in. So very easy to control there. Wine guard, that's going to be for your Wi-Fi booster right here. We've got window awnings. Now these are the awnings, the installation awnings that I was telling you about at first that just come out over the window. We've got driver side and passenger side. Your Wi-Fi router on and off switch. Entry lock. So for this entry door, I can lock and unlock it from inside of the motorhome, as well as our baggage doors. So all those storage compartments underneath, they are all on power locks. The step cover, which I showed you, entry step. So this is going to shut it off so that it doesn't come in and out every time you open the door. The on for your satellite. This coach has an RTT20B satellite um, that is an in motion that can be set up for either Direct TV or Dish Network. It's five dish or, or even Bell actually. Um, Direct TV, Dish Network, Bell. There's five dip, dip switches on top of it. Um, super easy to change. So security lights. These are all your exterior lights, driver security, passenger security, patio, and external LEDs. Controls for your HWH computerized leveling. So we turn it on auto level, drop all four jacks, uh, and release the airbags as necessary. And then the HWH master reset switch, just in case you ever had a hydraulic failure, we can actually do a full reset on that system from right there. So in right here next to the door, we've got one little multiplex control panel. So we've got a total of six of these in the coaches. This one is our main one. So from here, I can do master lights on, master lights off, so I just turn them all off, master lights on, or I can control each light individually. Now, the reason there's six is the ones on the wall in specific areas, they will control more specific lights, and I'll show you that in just a second. We can also control our shades, so I'm just gonna go kitchen and living room night shades. And now, all the way around, we're dropping our night shades down at the push of a button. Now, this coach is also equipped with day shades. It works on the same system, um, but those would be just for you know keeping the sun out more so than anything. So in this new Marshall Premier, we do have a couch on this side and it does come with two ottomans. This is a villa couch. There is a bit of storage in either one of these ottomans. Just a couple extra places to put things. And then while we're talking about it, we'll go ahead and set it up as the bed so everyone can see it. So to make the bed, pull off your three cushions. And then there's a safety latch over, whoa. There's a safety latch over on this side. Just pull it up. That leg automatically extends. Grab this leg. There we go. Grab this leg, extend it, drop it down, and then unfold the mattress. Now this mattress is better than what it looks like. Once we undo this, it'll actually inflate. Um, once the air gets in there, so it is kind of shrink wrapped right now. But nice big bed, big enough that an adult can sleep on it, no problem. Put our cushions back on here. Okay. So, and then nice villa couch, very comfortable to sit on. Now, over here, we've got another one of those multiplex screens. So, like I said, the, specific, or the other ones around the coach control more specific lights. So, I can go on overhead lights underneath the cabinet. Next one is gonna be accent lighting. That's gonna be kind of all around in our faces here. And then last but not least, wall lights right above the couch there. So you've got two, one on either side. And then, and these ones we can actually, or control things like your shades as well, um, but it does control your more specific lights. Up above the sofa, nice big deep storage. I've said it before and I'll say it again, Newmar does a great job by carpet lining all of their storage so things don't rattle around and move while you're driving down the road. Just create some extra friction.
which brings us back over here to the driver's side where we've got the table and chairs. Now this table does extend. There's two leafs that come with this motorhome. They match this, uh, this table. We can put them in here so you have an extended table for more people to sit at. It also comes with two additional chairs. On either side, we do have two 110 volt outlets. Just so if you're sitting at the table and need to plug your laptop or something in, um, you can absolutely do that while you're working there. And then the 50 inch Samsung HD Smart TV, and that is going to be on a lift. So I'm gonna go ahead and go TV lift down, and then we're gonna lift these shades up. So what's really cool about these TV lifts is you've got a massive window back behind that TV. So if we lift the shades and move the TV out of the way, you're not using it, you have great natural lighting. Um, when you're ready to watch TV, it's the push of a button. You can actually lift that TV from any of these control panels in the living room. So we've already seen one, two, three of them. Um, makes it really nice and easy for someone to use. Up above, we've got a little bit of storage. So storage up there. Another sound bar here for this uh, living room TV. And then right here is going to be our AV compartment. So right now it's got a Sony Blu-ray player in it. Now, if we wanted to hook up to that satellite dish that's on the roof, this is where we would put our receiver as well. Again, that satellite can do dish, bell, or direct TV. Coming into the kitchen area, nice big cabinet here. Newmar does an awesome job with these pull-out drawers so you don't have to try and fight and reach into there, especially for you shorter people. Down below that, we have a solid surface countertop. Dual bowl undermount sink with a sprayer on the faucet. So if you're doing dishes, you can get that water nice and close for pressure. And then over here, we've got our two burner true induction electric cooktop. Uh, one thing I always like to point out with Numar is they put cutting boards in the bottom of your uh, cooktop covers. Really just gives it, you know, it's something easy, but it's something you don't have to carry with you. You've already got it. But two burner true induction cooktop, my favorite thing, if you want to cook outside, you just take it out, unplug it. It's just a standard 110 volt outlet. Take it outside, put it on a picnic table or something. And uh, there are plugs out there for it underneath that, uh, or in that back left storage compartment. Put those back on. 30 inch convection microwave. So this does double, or it's a microwave, but it also doubles up as an oven. So if you want to bake some cookies, you could absolutely do that in this uh, motorhome. Coming down below, nice deep storage here. So there are some pockets back here. So if I wanted to pull off my stovetop cover and get it out of the way, there are some pockets back there that it just slides into. They are carpet lined, so they aren't going to scratch or mess up your uh, countertop covers. Down below the sink, we've got two drawers. This one is actually designed for a trash can. Newmar does a great job because every other manufacturer forgets that someone needs a trash can. And then another nice pull-out drawer here. Personally, I would probably use it for pots and pans. And then going along with storage for the kitchen, instead of the traditional Newmar pantry, we've got this one built in directly next to the entrance door. Now these shelves are adjustable. We can move them up and down as needed. So if you need to put cereal boxes or something in there, we can move them for you. Coming back into the middle, we've got the Whirlpool 19.7 cubic foot residential refrigerator. So this is an electric only refrigerator. It's going to pull power directly off of the inverter, which will get power from its eight uh, AGM house batteries. And then down below, we do have the freezer drawer with a built in ice maker. And then we've got water on the door here. Oh. Also in the middle of this motorhome, we do have our half bath. So turn the lights on in here real quick. So this is great for guests. If they need to use the restroom, they don't have to walk through your bedroom to get to the bathroom. Um, this bathroom is actually a pretty nice straight in approach, so it's not cramped at all. Up above, we've got our fuses for all our 12 volt electrical stuff, two GFCI outlets, 
And then a very residential style, style circuit breaker box. This is going to be all of our 110 stuff, washer, dryer, air conditionings, um, anything that will not run if we do not have an external power source. Great toiletry storage in the half bath. And then just a Dometic porcelain electric flush toilet down below there. So were you able to get all that? So we've also got just a single bowl under mount sink and then a nice little vanity mirror there as well. So coming back into the bedroom, first thing we'll see is we do have a Samsung 43 inch HD TV. We can set this up to be on the satellite as well. Now this is a smart TV, so we can hook it up to the Wi-Fi. I've got the YouTube app pulled up right now so I can scroll through, look at the different things that TransWest is doing videos on. It looks like we did a truck, a trailer, a London Air. Um, so we can actually hook this up and use our streaming services. On this TV, we can download apps such as Netflix, Hulu, Spotify, YouTube. Um, whatever you like to enjoy, we can download the app. That way you can watch it wherever you are using only Wi-Fi. Right here, just a nice big hanging wardrobe. And then back over here, we've got another one that's identical, so you kind of have a his and hers set up in this motorhome. And then down below that, nice drawers. So you got a total of four drawers here. Notice they are all soft closing drawers. And then Last but not least, down below, we've got another AV compartment with another Sony Blu-ray player, but that is also where we'd put your satellite receiver if we were gonna hook it up to this TV for you. Over here, we do have a king bed, plenty of storage up above it. So for you CPAP users, you can store your CPAP in there. There's a hole over on this side so we can run our hose, our cords through there. That way your CPAP has a place to sit. And then on either side of the bed, we do have two 110 volt outlets as well as two 12 volt USBs. So this is that leaf for the table. Now it's still kind of in storage or in uh, transport mode where it's wrapped up, but we can extend that table. This is probably about a one, uh, a one foot leaf. And then we've also got the two additional chairs for the kitchen table. So that table could easily sit, sit up to four people uh, without too much being too cramped coming into the back bathroom we do have a nice pocket door so just for privacy i will point out that on the other side on the back side of this door there is a full length mirror so for you gentlemen ladies and gentlemen who like to look really pretty while you're camping um, you do have a full length mirror there in the back corner on the passenger side splendid stacked washer and dryer Another Dometic electric flush porcelain toilet and another one of these control pads. So we've got the nice mirror here, one of my favorite things. So we've got vanity lights, but we've also got mirror lights. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, when you're doing your makeup, you can definitely get some good uh, light on yourself. And then back behind that, we do have a huge medicine cabinet, two 110 volt outlets, hair dryer, coffee pot, Whatever you need in your bathroom, you've got outlets for it. Residential style sink under mount. And then down below, lots of toiletry storage. Three nice drawers, again, all soft closing. And then another compartment back here, another storage back here. So we've got the safe up in the wall of this cedar line closet. Down below that, that's just a multiplex control board. They make it nice and easy to get to just in case you ever need to repair it. And then three smaller drawers down below, four smaller drawers, sorry. So lots of wardrobe space in this one for a 40 foot motorhome. And then we've got a beautiful tile shower. So this is a 36 inch radius shower. Um, so again, I'm six feet tall, about 250 pounds. I can get in here. I can wash my hair. Uh, there is a little shower stool in here. So, uh, nice place to sit down. If you need to shave your legs, you could do that as well on this stool. Dual, uh, 
dual sprayer so you got the wand and you've got the rain and then over here we've got the bottle so you can put your body wash shampoo conditioner all here so you don't have to have a bunch of bottles laying around and this does also have the aquamizer system that will tell you when you have hot water available now that oasis chinook system that we saw in the very beginning of this video does provide you on demand hot water as well as heat um, it just takes a little bit to get it from the hot water heater to the lines or to the shower those lines you know they sit in the water sits in there and gets cool so coming up here this is the other style of screen that we'll see in this motorhome we've got this one we've got one in the front and we'll talk about them both but they pretty much do the same thing so from here this is all of our general coach stuff so we can look at our water or water levels so fresh gray black we can look at our power source uh, so right now i have it plugged in it's saying that it's on a, a 50 amp service dc power this is just going to be our battery level generator we can start and stop the generator from the bedroom uh, without having to go all the way to the front we can also set our auto gen system now that's going to be um, just kind of a backup system if you're ever out camping go out for a mountain bike ride uh, don't want your batteries to die while you're gone you can set this so the generator just fires up once your batteries hit a certain level water we can turn our water pump on we can fill the tank from here climate control so you do have zones you have the living room bedroom bathroom we can control them all separately to make sure that we're nice and comfortable wherever we are in the motorhome. And then right here, we've got our floor heat in three zones as well. So this motorhome does have electric radiant, electric radiant floor heat. So that's going to be a front, middle, rear zone. So the living room, the bedroom, the bathroom. Uh, it's literally just a wire mesh that goes underneath this tile floor and heats this tile floor up. Now, the only caveat to that is you do have to have an external power source such as the generator or shore power plugged in in order to use it oh that pretty much is going to wrap up the house side of this motorhome let's go up to the cab area here so we were just talking about that screen we've got another one up here so we can control all of that from the front and the back so um, again same stuff water levels battery levels ac power dc power generator water climate floor heat all of it we can do from right here as well Newmar does an awesome job with this cab, giving you extra storage. Now there is no option with Newmar for a cab over bunk. Instead, they opted for the cabinets. Um, so it's, it's, it is what it is, but they did do a very nice job with this cab area. And then going back to what I said outside about this having an air ride cab. So back behind this black kind of fascia here, um, that's where that big rubber seal is. So pretty much from where I'm standing forward is going to move separately from this. Um, and it only happens when you go in gear. Uh, it does lock out when you're sitting still so that your cab isn't moving up and down while you're sitting still and just walking around in here. Um, this or Newmar does an awesome job with this cover. So instead of having, you know, just cheap snapping covers, we've got a nice leather cover here. Um, that's going to be your privacy screen. It does have snaps just all the way around. And then there's a little hanging bar up on the front. Maybe. There we go. Go ahead and take this all the way off just so we can see what it's like to drive this motor home. So six snaps and three hang four hanging bars, I'm sorry. And then this just comes off folded up just like a blanket and i'm just going to put it there for now um, there's plenty of places to store that in this motorhome whether it be up above the cab or back in the back somewhere maybe underneath the bed so in the cab area of this motorhome like i said air ride seats air ride cab we're just going to go over everything really quickly first things first we've got a switch here for that shade up above that nice skylight now that is a dual pane tinted window up there as well so it's not going to let a lot of heat in but just as a backup, Newmar does a great job by giving you a shade there. Okay, so we've got over on this right side right here, we've got our generator start and stop. That's going to be for that 12,500 watt owning quiet diesel generator. That means we have five places we can start this generator. Hope it just fired up. Push the button and fire it up. So we've got, 
We can start it here. We can start it up above my head. We can start it in the bedroom and we can start it on the exterior. So five places. Um, I didn't show you, but underneath the cabinet in the bedroom, we can also start it. So right here, just to the left of this radio, we've got our speed or our cruise control settings. So this is just the master switch. Resume, accelerate, set coast, two stage engine brake. It's gonna be a high and a low. And then a mirror heat switch to keep these lights from getting fogged up. Down below, we've got the touchpad for our Allison 4000 transmission, 4000 series transmission. That's gonna be a six speed automatic. Power windows here in the middle. Now, being that this is a twin screw and we have two drive axles, we actually optioned these chassis out to have dual locking differentials. So what that means to you is if you're ever in an icy, cold, muddy situation, you can lock these differentials in. That will get all four or all eight of your rear tires spinning the same speed just for extra friction on the road, extra traction. Lights on and off, light test. So that's just gonna run through all the lights on the motorhome. So marker lights, headlights, turn signals, and it'll also run your trailer lights just to make sure your circuit is complete and working. Power door locks, an optional switch here. So that's just if you wanted to add something, a light bar, anything like that, we have a switch here. You don't have to go in and wire a whole new switch. And Newmar actually gives you, or Freightliner actually gives you two option switches uh, on this coach so and then parking brake so this is going to be your main one this is just for this motorhome if you had a trailer that had air brakes you would also have an air supply to those so you can release those brakes as well and then over on the passenger side we have all the same controls that we saw on the uh, driver's side with heated seats air ride seats up and down so we'll just go ahead and raise this one up just so you can see it so all your controls right there. And then new for 2021, we do have the nine inch media screen. So right here, we can do radio, AM, FM, Bluetooth, and Sirius XM. We can look at our navigation. So I'm gonna hit accept. And then with this Rand McNally navigation system, we can do a couple things. So we can look at our route, our route or we can look at the map. Now with this, we can actually set up the dimensions of this RV, so it's a 40 footer, it's 13 feet, two inches tall. Um, and then when it routes us, it won't take us down a road that we can't make it down. So if it's got, if a road's got a low bridge or something, this navigation system will know it and it won't take you down that road. So you don't have, end up getting stuck and having to try and figure out how to back out. So, oh, so anyways, I think that's gonna wrap up my, uh, my video on this 2021 Newmar Supreme Air 4051. Very beautiful motorhome. Um, this is gonna be the last one that we get before the 2022 start rolling in. But if you have any questions about this unit or other any other unit in our inventory, whether it's a Newmar Renegade, anything we've got, feel free to give me a call. Again, I'm Brian Moritz. My phone number is 303-482-6375 or shoot me an email at brian.moritz at transwest.com. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm going to get this coach closed up and we'll see you next week.